everyone, Jan here from our Church Life team at One Church TO, and I've got some words of encouragement for you today. Isaiah 41, 13, listen to this. I am holding you by your right hand, I, the Lord your God, and I say to you, do not be afraid. I am here to help you. What a beautiful verse. When was the last time someone held your hand? You know, it's quite an endearing act. Maybe you have fond memories of the first time you nervously held hands with that someone special and and that wave of closeness and delight that it brought. Maybe you're in a relationship right now and and hand-holding is still a sweet treat. Treasure that. Uh, I know how wonderful it is every time my grandchildren reach up and put their little hands in mine. It, It makes me love them and want to protect them all the more. And it's sort of sad that um, in our society, and, and especially as we grow older, more mature, we seem to do less hand-holding, but that doesn't mean we don't still need it. And our verse today is a beautiful reminder that God wants to hold your hand and with that gentle squeeze, remind you, no matter what you're facing or how you feel today, you are loved by him and you don't need to be afraid. God holds our hands for so many good reasons, safety, protection, love. And I also believe God holds our hand to guide us into his very best plans for our lives. He wants to lead you in his ways, and he does it in such an intimate way by holding your hand. Are you allowing God to hold your hand today, or or have you pulled away? You know, sometimes we think our way is best. I like being the boss. I like calling the shots. I know what's best for me. I think we all have said that, but, but, but is it? Have you ever tried to hold the hand of a child at a mall and they're tugging and pulling to go exactly where you do not want them to go? We don't want them running off down the escalator. We're not going to let them um, take off into a store with strangers, but they only feel restricted and they're usually not too happy about it. And I think we can be that way with God sometimes where we pull and push uh, wanting to do things our way. I don't want to hold your hand. (laughs) Yet even in our pulling away, God is always there. And he says, child, I'm here to help you. Why are you pulling away? Sometimes we feel we have made such a mess of things in life that we, we pull our hand away from his in shame. Like, why would God want me? I'm not worthy of his love or attention. And sometimes we feel we have wandered so far off the right path that to come back and even find his hand, oh, we don't even know where to look for it. Dear one, God wants to hold you by your hand today. Can you believe that God, he's for you. He is your biggest fan. If no one has ever believed in you or thought that your life would amount to anything, God has a very different opinion. He's for you. You are deeply loved today, and he has the very best plan for your life. God has been watching over your life, lovingly, waiting for your invitation to to show you a better way, his way. He has the best pathway for you. In fact, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And if you want to know a pathway for your life that leads into what is right and good and true and brings you into a life truly valuable here and for eternity, it begins with acknowledging Jesus, you're the way, and asking him to be the the director of your life and giving him your hand so he can lead you. And dear one, that step is just the beginning. His hand is always there to direct our steps. If you're feeling uncertain about your next chapter or you've got an important decision looming in front of you and you're trying to figure it all out on your own, there's a an invitation from someone who sees your beginning to your end and he wants to hold your hand. If you're feeling fearful of facing a future that looks really different than what you're used to, and I think we're all feeling that these days, you can give your trembling hand to Jesus. 
He will guide you with his love and truth into the best path for your life. You'll feel a tender squeeze of his love. And the Holy Spirit will whisper in your ear, I am holding you by your right hand. I, the Lord, your God, and I say to you, do not be afraid. I am here to help you. What a privilege today to be led by the hand of Jesus. Let me pray for you. So Jesus, I pray for anyone who has just felt reluctant to give you their hand. May today be a day when they say, yes, Jesus, I'm going to trust you with my whole life and give you my hand. And for each one who's just feeling uncertain and needs that awareness that you are leading, Father, squeeze their hand today. Let them know you're close. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you. Closeness with me, then breathe a moment's breath of life without him. And I, I believe you do too. I want his peace in my life. So I'm praying that as you grow in relationship with him and you keep trusting him regardless, that perfect peace is gonna be yours today too. Let me pray. Jesus, thank you so much for your love for us. We trust you today and we thank you for your peace in your name. Amen.